Welcome back. Well, if you're looking to move to a fantastic place where your kids are going to be safe, your family can prosper, one great place could be Thief River Falls. So joining us now with Advance Thief River Falls is Michelle Landsberg. Michelle, it's great to have you on the show. I'm glad that we got this thing uh, working. So welcome and good morning. Well, good morning, Chris. It's great to be with you this morning. Great to have you as well. So tell us what's so special about Thief River Falls. Well, um, we compared, uh, we recently did an economic dashboard and uh, we, we really wanted to look at the data because, you know, we think this is a great place to live, but sometimes, uh, you know, what is the reality? So we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we compared Thief River Falls to 10 similar cities in Minnesota, looking at geography and size of, of the community. And we used information from Minnesota Compass. And looking at that data, we found that Thief River Falls ranks high on many key livability features. For instance, uh, we have the lowest percentage of cost burdened households. So that means that Thief River Falls is an affordable place to live. Uh, we also found uh, we had the most favorable ranking on commute time. 84% of people drive less than 10 miles to work. Wow. We ranked third on public safety first on broadband speed, first on high school graduation rate, and first on the percentage of students participating in enrichment activities. So good stuff. And the first in hockey as well, correct? I mean, when I, when I think of Beaver <laughs> Falls, I always think, okay, they got a great hockey program going on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. It's, it's a really strong hockey uh, town. We've got a lot of, uh, lot of great hockey players that have come out of Beaver River Falls. So for people that maybe aren't familiar with, I mean, give us an idea of the population, um, you know, what's kind of downtown, those kind of things. Well, we're in the we're in the eight thousands, uh, but we, we are growing um, and our downtown. There's just a ton of stuff happening downtown. We've got new businesses coming in. We've got business uh, buildings being redeveloped. There's just a lot going on. Um, we and we've even earned some recognition uh, a couple of years ago we made wall street 24 7's list of america's 50 best cities to live in wow so um, that was that was nice to see and and certainly not anything we went after it just it just happened this might be a very ignorant question but i'm going to ask like when when i hear thief over falls i think of you know fall i mean is there some kind of falls or just beautiful water around the area or what why the name well i think there is a small you know, small fall falls, but uh, it's really at the, the junction of two rivers. Nice. So, yeah. And it's, it's uh, the water feature in town is, is really quite lovely. We've got a, a walk that, that goes along the river and um, it's, it's just really a, a beautiful town. Yeah. I mean, just some stunning pictures that we're seeing. And as you know, when people think about moving, one of the most important things is uh, schools and education. You mentioned one of the top in graduation rates. So give us an idea of how big classrooms are and what parents can expect from a Thief River Falls education program. Well, uh, we have our, our classrooms are, are not large. Uh, and, and it's uh, I would say, you know, when when we talk about the classrooms and the teachers, the teachers are uh, definitely uh, engaged with the students. They know the students. The students know the teachers. Uh, they're they're very invested. Um, also, it's a very safe school. Uh, a couple of years ago, we made the list. Uh, uh, actually, the third safest school in the state, and that's not easy to 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 earn. So it, it's a very safe school as well. No, that that is a great uh, talking point. So. Um, if people want to find out more information, how can they get in contact with you? Or is there a website? What do you suggest? I would suggest people go to advancedthiefriver.com. We've got information on housing, uh, on jobs, all of the different statistics about the community. If people are, uh, people are possibly considering a, a move to Thief River Falls, they'll find that information there on the advancedthiefriver.com website. Michelle, you're a great ambassador, and uh, thank you for the insight. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity, Chris. Anytime. Uh, thank you so much. Well, Bailey Hurley, just look at the magic of TV. Just whoosh, swoops right in. Um, do you want to share something that you were struggling with a little bit today that, that is happening? People, my spirit is not in a good place. <laughs> Emotionally, I am not in a good place because the Kardashians are no longer going to be on TV after 2021. 2020 is such a scam. It's, it has been 
All I want to say is people get to see the, the pile of tissues that are over there from her having to like wipe away tears. But is... for real, yesterday was a tough day. When I read that, I was like, spiritually, I was not okay. So, and, and you have a theory as to why they're not renewing. Because of Kanye. For sure, because of Kanye. He's going through some... He's going through some things, which like everybody with situation, everybody with mental health is going through some things. And I just don't think broadcasting that on national television is always a good idea. So if that's the reason I expect it. OK, let's go to the motivation <laughs> okay. instead of my sorrows. What defines us is how well we rise after falling. Conor, Conor McGregor after he McGregor. gives you a sucker punch yeah. to the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how it was when you thought about the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. Well, s s I'll be here tomorrow, Thursday. And or Friday, right? I don't know what day it is. I'll be here all week. Have a great day.